Today we're going to clarify some of the most common issues we encounter on the auto meter tech line involving the installation of mechanical temperature gauges. Uh, as you may or may not be aware, a mechanical temperature gauge has a long sealed capillary tube that extends from the back of the gauge. Now this tube contains an ether gas that when the, the probe tip is heated expands and that's what pushes the needle forward on the gauge. Uh, the advantage to this is you always have an accurate temperature reading regardless of if the vehicle is on or off. Now the disadvantage advantage is these can be a bit trickier to install than their electronic counterparts. So let's start by taking a look at the gauge itself. All right, so on the gauge, here is our capillary tube coming out of the back of the gauge. Um, don't uh, try and undo the nut here, you will damage the gauge. It's a sealed system, it goes all the way through to the movement. Uh, and then on the end, we have our probe tip and we have the sealing nut, which as you can see is, is free to move up and down. And because of that, uh, it has to be installed using a mounting nut like the one we have here. There's a little cupped area inside. These surfaces mate together. And once that's in, you can see we've got no movement anymore there. So if we take a, a typical intake manifold like we've got here, you'll see a couple of different ports on it. Now this one here on the intake runner, not a good choice. Um, there is no coolant in the passage. Now oftentimes we will see uh, people try to install the sealing nut here by itself because the threads are pretty similar. But even if we tighten this down all the way, the probe can still move freely in there. So that's not going to seal. Uh, we install it like that and now we've got uh, not only an inaccurate temperature gauge but uh, also a vacuum leak on our hands. So the sealing nut on the end of this piece here. Now this is not the most common thread. This is actually a 5 8 18 UNF thread. If we mic it out, uh, it measures approximately 625 thousandths. Uh, now the most common mounting nut that we're going to use uh, is a half inch NPT, like this one here. Now these are included uh, with every gauge, the, and they mic out at about eh, 13 sixteenths. Uh, now some manifolds are only going to have a port set up for a 3 8 inch NPT fitting. Okay, now these mic out at about 670 thousandths. Uh, that's why we sometimes get the confusion with the sealing nut there. Okay, uh, in these applications we've got our 2263 mounting nut available. It's perfect for these applications. Same tapered fitting on there so uh, we get a good sealing surface. Um, as these are far less common, we do not include these with the gauges as most people are never actually going to use one. So now that we've got a little background information, let's go ahead and actually install the probe on our manifold. So first we're gonna we're gonna try this port right here um, and we're gonna forego the mounting nut against our better judgment and well it kind of works but yeah the probe bottoms out in there. Um, not a good plan. We uh, attempt to do that. Not only uh, do we have an inaccurate gauge, but we're also going to have coolant all over the place. Um, so in this case, we can simply use that 3 8 NPT mounting nut. And we'll go right there, and the gauge can be installed. No problem. Now, we've already got, though, a half inch NPT port where we can use the supplied fitting, which will screw right in there, tighten that down, and give it a quick twist, and there we go, snug it up, and right in place, and that is the correct installation procedure for a mechanical temperature gauge on a typical intake manifold. Thank you very much.